Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. Sorry that it took me a little bit to do this next video. I just had to eat some lunch and other things like that. I had to do other things around my house before doing this next video for the best albums of 2022 so far, part 2, section 2 video that I'm returning to you for for the continuation of this best albums of 2022 so far, part 2 video for section two so i'm going to discuss where i left off from the last video and let you know my thoughts on the rest of these albums so let's dive into this video now the number 32 is while she sleeps with sleep society special edition it has like four or five extra songs like eye to eye um there's other tracks that i can't think of them right now but this was actually a really good album, for sure. This was one of my favorites this year, in my opinion. The lead singer's screaming vocals are great, and the backing vocals from the guitarists, Sizz and all that, are pretty good. So, yeah, I really enjoyed this album, for sure. So, at number 32 was While She Sleeps with Sleep Society, special edition. I forgot to mention I enjoyed Enlightenment. I enjoyed You Are All You Need, uh, the song, uh, Systematic, was pretty good. I like the original. The newer one has a rap artist, and I don't know if I'm feeling for that one, but still, it was solid for what I went for, so, yeah, there's other tracks like Nervous featuring Simon Neal of Biffy Clyro, so, yeah, there's a, I think there's Derek Wibley, on the No Defeat for the Brave song, and Division Street was a favorite too. It's grown on me a lot more than I thought. Sleep Society, the title track is great, and the final track was really good, for sure. So, yeah, definitely check this special edition out. It contains 16 songs, or consists of 16 tracks, and it is a pretty well list worth listening to. So definitely check this album out uh, for the newer edition, for the deluxe edition for this Sleep Society album. So, and number 33 is Bleed From Within with Shrine. Now, I really enjoyed this album. Damnation's a really good song. Really enjoyed that. Um, there's quite a bit of other tracks on here that I can't remember if I enjoyed or not. But I remember liking this for what it was. And it was pretty enjoyable. There's... No, it's called I Am Damnation. That was a solid track. Sorry, I said it wrong. But it was a solid track. But Flesh and Stone was really good. Sky was really good. Shapeshifter was amazing. And there's other tracks on here that are pretty good. So, at number 33, I picked Bleed From Within with Shrine. Number 34 is Rise Against with Nowhere Generation 2 EP. Now this was actually really enjoyable. Last Man Standing is one of the tracks from this uh, album, I guess you could say. And it was really enjoyable. I'm trying to look for it right now. Give me a second. Here it is. Um, the answer was pretty good. Oh yeah, Last Man Standing. I gave a 4.5 out of 5 in. Sorry if I said it was pretty good. Uh, I mistakenly said that, not knowing that I gave it a 4.5 out of 5. But this was a really good um, EP for sure that they came out with back last month. Uh, early last month, I guess you could say, on June 10th. So, yeah, number 34, I picked Rise Against with Nowhere Generation 2. It was enjoyable for what it was. Number 35 is Coheed and Cambria with Vaxis Act 2, A Window of the Waking Mind. Now this was a really enjoyable album for sure. I liked the first song, The Embers of Fire. There's other tracks on here that were pretty enjoyable too. Like, uh, give me a second. Yeah, The Embers of Fire, Beautiful Losers was great. Comatose is an acquired taste, but it's a solid track. It's grown on me a little more. Shoulders was great. A Disappearing Act had great electronic work and great. 
it was great musically and instrumentally too. So I really enjoyed how Claudio was singing the song too. Uh, Love Murder 1 was pretty good. Blood was good. The Liars Club was good. Uh, Rise Naya Nasha Cut the Cord was an amazing song for sure. So if you haven't checked out Coheed and Cambria, I'd recommend checking them out because they're pretty talented for sure. With this new album, this is one of their best out of the other albums, in my personal opinion at least. So yeah, Our Love was not so bad, but not great in my opinion. But it did alright, I guess. Um, then there were some other tracks, Ladders of Supremacy and Window of the Waking Mind was a great closing track to end the album. So, at number 35, I picked Coheed and Cambria with Vax's Act 2, uh, Window of the Waking Mind. Number 36 is Saint Asonia with Introvert EP. Now, Above It All is my favorite, in my opinion. I really enjoyed that. Um, there were some other songs on here, like, uh, Chew Me Up, featuring, with a featured artist, uh, in the song as well. So, this was not that terrible. I really enjoyed this. And, sorry, I'm looking for it right now, so please forgive me on looking for it, I guess you could say. So, I'm looking for where I wrote it down. Uh, probably not there, so... Yeah, here it is. Um, yeah, better late than never. I'm just looking at it on my spiral notebook if you're wondering why I'm turning pages and all that. Uh, but yeah, better late than never was a really good track. Chew Me Up was not bad. Uh, Terrible Johnny was probably the weakest part of the song. But other than that, Adam Gontier sounded really good in this track. Uh, so What was a favorite. Left Behind was really good. Bite the Bullet, I really enjoyed. Um, there may have been some critiques about that track, but other than that, Bite the Bullet was pretty strong. Blinding Lights, the weekend cover, is the best cover I've heard from that they covered and by the weekend, and it was enjoyable for sure. So, yeah, at number 36, I picked uh, St. Asonia with Introvert EP. It was only seven songs, so it wasn't very long, but it was quite enjoyable, for sure. So, yeah, definitely go check this EP out if you haven't listened to it yet. Um, next, at number 37, is Cold Rain with Non-Negative. Now, this was pretty enjoyable, too. It's a pretty good album. There's some songs on here I'm not sure if I'm feeling for. I'm just scrolling through it on my notebook, so you guys... Uh, no, kind of get a picture of what tracks I'm going to be talking about. I gave this album an 8.5 out of 10, so it's pretty enjoyable for sure. Um, Help Me Help You was pretty good. Calling was good. Uh, Cut Me was good. I remember listening to Cut Me as one of the singles, but I never really listened to the other tracks. But I did enjoy this album as a whole. Despite Boys and Girls being the weakest, probably the weakest on the album, it was a decent song. It just wasn't my personal favorite. And Don't Speak was solid, in my opinion. So, yeah, 8.5 out of 10 I gave it, and it's going to be on the best albums, like I said, on this list. So, it made it on this list. So, at number 37 is Cold Rain with Non-Negative. Alright, at number 38 is Journey with Freedom. Now, this was a pretty well done album for sure. I really enjoyed it for what it went for. Uh, I'm just looking for it right now. Give me one second. And I'll... Just looking for it. So sorry about that, guys. Uh, I do not see... Here it is. Um, Together We Run was a solid track. Don't Give Up On Us was solid. There's quite a bit of solid tracks, but the second half did much better, in my opinion. Like, from tracks 7 to 15, did so much better, in my opinion. So, yeah, I really enjoyed this album, and this was one of their best albums. 
in my personal opinion. I haven't listened to their other discography, so I wouldn't know. But I'm fairly new to listening to Journey. I've listened to some of their older songs on the radio and all that, but still. Um, I think you guys will like this album for what it's going for. So at number 38, I picked Journey with Freedom. Number 39 is Yours Truly is with Is This What I Look Like EP. Now this was pretty enjoyable for the runtime it went for. There's only seven songs. Like Lights On was pretty good. Walk Over My Grave was great, in my opinion. Bruises featuring Drew York was really enjoyable. Careless Kind was pretty good. I really enjoyed that when it came out as a single. And... Yeah, it's still a great track. Is This What I Look Like? The title track for the EP was solid. It wasn't perfectly great, but it was pretty good. Uh, Hallucinate featuring Yumi at 6, his lead singer, is in this song. Uh, was really good. If You're Drowning, I'll Learn How to Hold My Breath or whatever, I think it's called. Was a really good track, so definitely check this EP out if you haven't listened to it. And at number 39, I picked uh, Yours Truly with Is This What I Look Like EP. I'm just breezing through the tracks so you know that I'm uh, trying to mention the tracks while mentioning which number I set it at. But there will be a countdown for the list uh, at the end of the year, which numbers I'm going to mention from top to bottom. This is from bottom to top, so yeah. Um... At number 40 is Palisades with Reaching Hypercritical. Now, I enjoyed uh, My Consequences. I enjoyed, uh, what is it, uh, Invincible Die Down. That was really enjoyable for sure. Your Misery was great. Uh, Without You is my least favorite, and Sober was too, in my opinion. But they weren't bad songs. They were just the weaker ones. And the final track, uh, Closure, was great. And there were some other tracks on here, like Sick of the Attitude was great, in my opinion. So, definitely check this Palisades album out, Reaching Hypercritical. It came out last week, on July 22nd, but it was really enjoyable. So, at number 40 was Palisades with Reaching Hypercritical. Number 41 is Bad Wolves with Sacred Kiss EP. Now this was another enjoyable listen. I was surprised this time around that Bad Wolves did a lot better than I thought. Uh, the Body is a solid track. It's not the best, but it's solid. And then there's uh, other tracks like, whatchamacallit, uh, Up in Smoke and Two... Two versions of Sacred Kiss. Sacred Kiss featuring Aaron Pauly of, of Mice and Men was really good. And also Sacred Kiss Acoustic was pretty nice, but not my favorite in my opinion. So Up in Smoke was solid too, like I said. So yeah, I gave it a pretty good rating despite some critiques about the EP. I still enjoyed it, so... At number 41 was Bad Wolves with Sacred Kiss EP. Number 42 is Dance Gavin Dance with Jackpot Juicer. Now this I recently reviewed. Definitely go check out my review for it if you haven't seen it a couple days ago. I think you guys will enjoy it. It's actually a pretty good review. But some people got on me saying, Oh, well you don't know their history from their past albums and their band members and all that. So they told me, oh, go do your research, and I'm like, you know what? You can think what you want, but seriously, you're just being assholes. So that's how, what I think. So stop being too critical. <laughs> I enjoyed this album for what it went for. Um, for the Jeers was really good. Really enjoyed it. Holy Ghost Spirit was great. Uh, Cream of the Crop was amazing. Untitled 2 was the intro track to the going into Cream of the Crop, and that was enjoyable. Synergy was great. Uh, there were some other ones like Pray to God for Your Mother was pretty enjoyable. 
despite some weird moments in it. Feels Bad Man was probably my least favorite, but it was still sort of strong for what it went for. But still, an enjoyable listen. And there were some other tracks on there that I did enjoy. Like, uh, what was it? Uh, Die Another Day and uh, Pop Off and some other tracks as well. So definitely check this new Dance Gavin Dance album out because you're going to really enjoy it. It's really enjoyable of a listen. So at number uh, so 42 is almost at 72 or whatever. Sorry about that. At number 42 is Dance Gavin, Gavin Dance with Jackpot Juicer. I said it wrong again. Please forgive me. That's going to be it for this Best Albums of 2022 so far, Part 2, Section 2 video. Comment below and let me know what your Best Albums of 2022 so far are if you have a Part 2 list for it. Because I count 42 now for the Best Albums right now. And if you did enjoy this special video I made for you guys uh, this afternoon, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can. Support the channel. I'll have a, some track reviews coming out as soon as I can. But for now, uh, I'm probably most likely going to take a break. I don't know. I got to listen to another song by Blackpink. And then uh, Lamb of God's new song, Omens. So I'll check those out in due time. But until then, hope you enjoyed this special videos for best albums of 2022 so far part two section one and two videos did the best i could to make them as good as possible stay safe take care guys and as always i will see you in my next review